In 2007, BioWare developed an Electronic Arts published Mass Effect for the Sony PlayStation 3, Microsoft Windows, and Microsoft Xbox 360. The series focused on that of the main character of Shepard and how he had to fight against the rogue specter of Saren. Along the way, Shepard meets a number of characters and ventures throughout the galaxy visiting multiple alien civilizations. In 2010, once again Bioware and Electronic Arts developed and published Mass Effect 2 which expands upon the first game's story and introduces the threat of the collectors and vapors. More characters are introduced and odds to the Mass Effect universe, and Shepard has to continue the journey throughout the galaxy. This was considered the best Mass Effect game out of the original trilogy at the time due to the character development and plot expansion of the Mass Effect story. In 2012, Mass Effect 3 was released for a third time by Bioware Electronic Arts. And by this time, the original trilogy was done. And the character of Shepard, being that of male or female, proved to be one of the most and well-respected characters of the early 2000s. However, within Mass Effect 3 was the final of the original trilogy, and it helped Shepard against the Reavers in the climactic conclusion of the story. But also depicted within the game was the supporting villain, with the whole subplot within Mass Effect 3 being that of Kai Lang. Online speculation held that due to the story of Mass Effect 3, Commander Shepard as well as N7 had a falling out with the Seberis group, on to somewhat keep the threat of Seberis apparent in Mass Effect 3 besides the Reaper or Collector threat. The character of Kai Lang was created to remind players essentially of Seberus as well as the danger of the elusive man. During the first interaction between Kai Lang and Shepard is there to give the character death and to undeniably let the player know that he is a threat and to justify this aspect of villainy kills Thane one of the most infamous turns of events of the entire trilogy. The impression is given that Carling was actually supposed to be that of a unique threat to Shepard. And all's mentioned the death of Thane showed just how dangerous Carling was. The confrontation between Commander Shepard and Carling had two more encounters throughout Mass Effect 3, but both confrontations had what many consider to be somewhat forced dialogue. On the reinforcement from the interactions between Shepard and Carling, that Kai Lang's threat from Sybaris was nearly thought to any threat that Shepard had faced previously, such as the main threats of Saren from the first Mass Effect or the Collectors from the second Mass Effect. The final matchup against Kai Lang had it that there will be a lengthy fight with equally lengthy dialogue from Kai Lang on Shepard going back and forth with speech. On during the gameplay had another equally infamous turn of events where Kai Lang couldn't be damaged by the player acting as Shepard until his pre-done actions are completed. When Shepard finally killed Kai Lang, Thane was avenged. On the death of Kai Lang by Commander Shepard was considered through online discussions as one of the most satisfying of any related villain death to the Mass Effect series, but there is harder that due to the very real fact a good amount of players consider Kai Lang such an annoying character that the death of the villain Kai Lang was all the more satisfying due to that annoyance. Kai Lang actually debuted in the related Mass Effect novels and that through the literature that the character was an adequate representation of someone different for a Mass Effect character, or developed slowly with plenty of time. Was that of his origin being that of an Alliance Marine, whom through events disgraced himself militarily or switched allegiance to Severus. With such a reputation as in the novelization of the Mass Effect books, he was someone that was a true threat to Commander Shepard on the N7 on easily demanded respect due to the events in the books. The transition 
of the possible threat of Kai Ling from the novels to the game seemed somewhat rushed, and the constant mentions of how dangerous Kai Ling was as a character seemed forced onto the player, rather than something that was slowly acquired or understood with the passage of gameplay. A character could be overrated yet hated because the transition from novelization to video game cinematics wasn't done correctly and the character wasn't understood properly.